Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training here. And today, in this video, I wanted to share with you three of my favorite exercises you can do to improve your throwing velocity. We're gonna be using the J-bands for all three of these different exercises, okay? You can pick up some surgical tubing uh, at probably your local sporting goods store, or uh, I would highly recommend you go online to Jager Sports and pick up some J-bands, okay? Tell them that Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training sent you, okay? They might hook it up for you. Uh, but I would highly recommend these. These are great for prehab, before you throw, before you compete, and rehab, so after you throw, after you get done pitching or after a game or whatever. And I can honestly tell you, I did not use these when I was in Little League and in high school, and I wish I would have. Um, I didn't really start using these until maybe senior year of high school or freshman year of college, and I use them pretty much every single day in college now. And I gotta tell you, my arm strength has absolutely skyrocketed since I've started using the J-Band. So I would strongly recommend them. They're not gonna you know, hurt your players, even if you're a young player. Um, they're, they're definitely gonna be beneficial for you to improve your rotator cuff and your shoulder strength so highly recommended pick up some J bands and I'm gonna show you three of my favorite exercises right now there's tons and tons of different exercises you can do but I'm gonna show you three of the ones that I really like so we're gonna come up to a fence like this and for all three of these exercises we want the J bands to be approximately mid back height okay so I'm gonna put this on the fence here all right make sure it's nice and sturdy not going anywhere and then I'm just gonna attach these to my wrists, okay? Just like that. And the first exercise that we're gonna be doing, I like to call touchdowns, okay? So you see in football, a referee, you know, when, whenever a, a touchdown is scored or a field goal is kicked, you see them go from down here to up like this. And that's exactly what we're gonna do, okay? So obviously if you need more resistance, just step a little bit further away from the fence or if less resistance, step a little bit closer to the fence. But we're gonna start with our hands down by our sides, okay? All the way up, nice and controlled. Touchdowns, nice and controlled, just like that. Boom, we're gonna go about 25 reps for each different exercise, and then we're gonna try and go three sets. If that isn't enough for you, you can go a little bit more. If that's too much, you can go a little bit less. Just listen to your arm, you're definitely gonna feel a burn, um, and bottom line, just listen to your arm because your rotator cuff is going to be on fire, okay? So that's touchdowns, all right? The next one is rotator cuff burnout. So same setup, okay? And we're going to start again with our arms down here and we're going to face our thumbs down, okay? So we're going to start down here, thumbs down. And as we come up, we're going to rotate our thumbs out like this, out and up, like we're giving somebody a thumbs up, okay? So we're going from thumbs down to thumbs up. And then obviously when you go back down again, you wanna bring your thumbs down. So down, up, like this. That's a little too easy. I'm gonna step a little bit further away. Down, up. Really feel a burn in my rotator cuff. Oh yeah. So that's a rotator cuff burnout, right there. Boom. The final rotator cuff exercise, we're gonna do reverse flies, okay? So I'm gonna be turned around for this one. This is really gonna help you build your scaps, okay? And again, that backside of your shoulder and your rotator cuff. So you can do these, again, you can put your, your hands through this and connect, or you can just grab onto the J-bands, which is what, what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, but athletic position, it's like this. So there you have it. Those are three great exercises you can do with the J-Bands. Like I mentioned, there are tons, literally probably 20, 30, 40 exercises that you can do with the bands, but I would highly recommend uh, you pick a pair up, okay? So again, go check out Jager Sports. That's where you can buy them online. Tell them Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training sent you. Uh, but this is really, really great to do prehab, before you compete, before you practice, before you pitch, whatever, and then obviously afterward as well. It's going to keep your arm healthy, it's going to definitely get it stronger, and it's going to help you build that velocity that you're looking for. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe. And if you want a full throwing workout, you know, these drills are gonna help you a little bit, uh, but if you want a full step-by-step, day-by-day throwing workout, then what I want you to do is click on this image right here, okay? That's gonna take you to my website. If you're on a mobile device, that's not gonna work, 
no big deal just click on the first link below this video in the description but that's going to take you to my website all i need is your email address and i will immediately send you that free throwing workout so hopefully i'll see you over on the site thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time